Hello and welcome. This is Ease Coding. My name is Amulya, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can basically install Nordry without any third party plugin manager in Vim 8. and above. This is Vim 8.2. I can quickly go ahead and show you Vim hyphen hyphen version, and it tells me just above 8.2. We are improved now to install this Nordry and set up this cool nerdy toggle shortcut which is f2 on my computer uh, this video is going to be helpful so go ahead and make sure you got nerdy sorry vim 8.2 installed if you haven't you, you also need the git so simply type sudo app install vim and git make sure you've got vim and git here so i already have you can see it in vim now what you need to do so since vim comes with its own package manager vim 8 point and above you don't need to have a third party installer so go ahead and google vim nurtry go to vim's website and unfortunately this connection is not safe not private here you can get the you can grab the official nurtry's git repo And then you can see it lists Vim 8 package manager. So go ahead and copy and clone with Git. So I already have copied. I'm not going to do that. So this is how you do basically. Uh, first of all, before you run it, make sure you are here. CD and then copy and paste that clone command with Git. And once it is done, you also need to have this get configured on your system okay once that's done you can install nurtry with this command so go ahead and do that once that is done it's very easy that's how we did it once that's done we are going to use this quick shortcut setup on the nurtry so uh, on the vimrc file so i'll go ahead and open the vimrc and i'll show you what i've done so basically yeah, we must. Here we go. So if you go at the bottom, okay, here we go. So you can see, I've got this part to hopefully you can see it. I can show you right there. So you can see, I've got auto CMD, Vim, enter, asterisk notary, and I've mapped it to F2 button. So it, it does toggling all the time whenever I press F2 and I am in the BIM window. It's really important. So now I can quit. Okay, so quit without making any changes. And now you can use my BIM and with Nurtry. You can see I'm pressing F2 and it toggles. Now I can go ahead and check all the files here. Also, while you are in the nurtry, you can press shift and question mark. It shows you all the help options. Okay. Uh, you can see here, you can, you can toggle this by just pressing shift and question mark again. And that goes away. Okay. So that's what we have here. Oops. Make sure I the toggle. Oops. I'm not basically a nerd here. However, I'm using Nordry. Oops. What just happened here? Okay, so basically you can see. Make sure in the you are in the same to no such files. I basically I'm in, I'm in the same files folder I wanted to get into the server. You can see this is what we have. That works perfectly fine. Uh, here we go. Table board application. So it works guys. Now if I want to go back to the folder directory I can simply press F2 and this takes me to the previous folder that I already have in the nerd tree. So make sure you are in the root directory wherever you want to be 
You don't want to slow down your rim by loading a user directory. Make sure you you are in the right track. So that's it for this video, guys. It works perfectly fine without uh, using any third party plugin manager for Vim now. You have Vim plugin manager. You can simply go ahead and type help or simply H and then say packages. And you can read about all the packages that are already available and obviously their features. Yeah. And how you can start using. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.